Welcome back to Africa 54. Today marks the 50th anniversary of one of the most dramatic events in U.S. history. The 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy in Dallas, Texas. Public opinion polls show Kennedy remains popular and many Americans are inspired by the ideals his legacy represents. Viewers national correspondent Jim Malone has more. Space exploration was an important part of John Kennedy's new frontier. The president with Vice President Johnson watched the first manned launch to be viewed around the world. The early success of the Mercury manned space missions under Kennedy set the stage for the moon landing later in the decade and remains one of his signature achievements. Kathleen Kennedy Townsend is Robert Kennedy's eldest child and President Kennedy's niece. It was not about what I can do for you. It was, I'm, you should do this because it's tough, because it's difficult. We're going to go to the moon because it is hard and it will take all our best energies, but that will make us a better people when we do that. One of the most vexing issues John Kennedy faced while in office was civil rights. A few months before he died, Kennedy made a fresh appeal for action to Congress. We are confronted primarily with a moral issue. It is as old as the scriptures and is as clear as the American Constitution. The heart of the question is whether all Americans are to be afforded equal rights and equal opportunities. Harris Wofford advised President Kennedy on civil rights. We don't know what greatness he could have come to. Uh, we lost somebody who was on on the way toward greatness, in my opinion, at a time we needed that. Many still wonder how the world might be different if John Kennedy had lived. It's really sad. Our country lost a lot in November 1963 and when my father was killed. It was a lot and I think we would have been a much better country had they lived. I'm not a believer that, you know, that tra out of tragedy, good, good can come. I think a lot of pain came and a, and a lot of bad things for our country. A few months before he died, President Kennedy spent a few days in his ancestral homeland of Ireland. You know, after President Kennedy went to Berlin, he went to Ireland. And he said that that was the happiest four days of his life. And when he, would, he was killed, um, uh, he had a rosary in his pocket, and Jackie sent that rosary to the people of Ireland, to the town that his grandfather came from, because she knew how much he believed his values came from that Irish immigrant experience. The energy, the faith, the devotion, which we bring to this endeavor, will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. John Kennedy's words still echo from the past, and the flame atop his grave continues to burn, a beacon to those who strive to make the world a better place. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.